Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how to create a classification data set using the amazing Nmap box plugin that it was developed for hyperspectral imagery from satellites, but we can actually use it for uh, multispectral imagery, which has only three bands as opposed to 200 or more bands in this hyperspectral imagery. So. What we first want to do is create, uh, first you want to select your imagery from whatever source you have. This is from the NAIP uh, USDA imagery. And uh, then you have to uh, create your training data in a vector file. And what I did was created a uh, new geo package and you want it to be polygon and you want it to be in a projected coordinate system and then you're going to want to make sure that each of the polygons has a class and that they're all matching uh, forest 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 pasture road 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 and they're not named different things clean data in other words and then what you're going to want to do is go to the plugins manage install make sure that you have the nmap box plugin if you don't just go to search and map and you'll find it here and then you'll install it and then you go over here to this really nifty looking icon and you hit that and then you're going to be opening up the plugin which is actually almost essentially like another program so that takes a second to open up and actually the hardest part about this is actually getting everything installed making sure all the dependencies are there the python libraries that are necessary and so i ended up uh, installing everything, including another QGIS package into a Conda environment and Mapbox Conda environment. And that works okay, but it seems like it slows up the computer a little bit. So I wouldn't process any imagery over, say, 40, 50 megabytes uh, if you're on a small laptop like myself. And so then you're going to want to open up your data sources and you're going to take uh, the training data and the TIFF, you can just hold down control to get both of those. Now they're in in the in the program here, and you want to drag and drop them over here, and then you can see them essentially like they're in uh, just like in QGIS. So now comes the somewhat complex part, that, but it's not very hard for us. It's hard for the computer. So we go to classification. Um, we go over to classification workflows. This is where uh, all the action happens. We need the training data set. So what we're going to do is we can do that before, but we're going to do it right now. And we're going to go over here and we're going to create a classification data set from the vector file on the feature raster. So then we have the, uh, categorized vector layer and then we have the feature raster and we make sure we use the correct field with the class values. We're going to run that and that's going to take us, uh, some time perhaps. And that will create our classification data set, which is what we need to create our classified roster. And then so that creates, uh, that gives us the percentages. And what we're going to do is pick the sample size, uh, basically the test data, test and training data. And so 70 will use that and it automatically populates the sample size. And then we save that, save it. And then you're done with that. So you can exit out of that updated set a pickle file and you can see here we have the random forest classifier used which is from the scikit learn machine learning library and you can actually pick other ones we don't want to do that right now what we do want to do is go ahead and make sure we have our output classification layer saved to a file um we're gonna just do we did this before, we ran through this before just to make sure it worked, and we're gonna run that. Um, the raster layer with features, that 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 will help, yep, all right. And then we run that. Uh, and so this is where it is using up all your computer's memory if you're on a small laptop like myself. So I will cut this and we'll be right back. All right, and now you can see it's all finished up and we're done with that so we can close it and got to remember to go over here 
you can see in the background here it uh, loaded up the classified layer, but we need to load it up. Go ahead and, and load it up here. Right here into class TIFF. We'll load that, and then again we have to drag and drop it over here, and you can see it right here. So then over here you can see the labels, and you can basically um, stylize it just just like we do in uh, QGIS. So we'll go ahead and make the forest green. And let's go ahead and make the soybeans uh, sort of green too. And that'll give you a better sense of, and it, and it did a pretty good job for just a few little samples. And uh, you can see how awesome this plugin is. So thank you very much, NMatBox. This is a great machine learning tool for QGIS. And thanks everybody for watching.